Well, it's all systems go for former U.S. President Barack Obama's Nelson Mandela Lecture, which is taking place on Tuesday. It's being hosted by the Nelson Mandela Foundation. And an estimated 14,000 people from across the globe are expected to gather at the Wanderers Stadium for the lecture. Our reporter Abongile Dumako looks at the preparations. It's a much-awaited address by one of the most brilliant orators of our time, Obama's eloquence catapulted him twice to the White House. A staggering 14,000 people will attend a year in the making. It's a reminder that the legacy of statesman Nelson Mandela endures still. There's quite a lot that will happen from 10 a.m. And of course, uh, that includes uh, merchandising, there'll be food, there'll be uh, exhibitions, quite a lot of information will be shared to people by many stakeholders. But at 1 o'clock, we'll be preparing to get ready for the for the main lecture, which actually happens at quarter to one. So all of that is in place. The lecture has previously been delivered by various leaders. They include former U.S. President Bill Clinton, former Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, and former Irish President Mary Robinson. In 2005, the well-known junior Barack Obama met Madiba briefly at his hotel. The visit made an incredible mark. He continues to be a model of, of leadership, not just for South Africa, but for the world. So uh, we celebrate him here in the United States, as you do in, in South Africa. Uh, we wish him all the best, uh, and uh, you know, we are constantly reminded that his legacy of seeing every person as uh, important. It's a much-anticipated lecture given by a gifted speechmaker. Will he announce a change we can believe in? Abongile Dumago, SABC News, Johannesburg.